is a Sanskrit word, which means wheel or discus. And these are the energy centers in the body. Uh, there are around 114 chakras in body. Uh, but we have the main seven chakra, which are more prominent. Uh, and today we are going to work on the fourth chakra, which is heart chakra, another in Hindi. And these center are really very powerful center in and different sort of energy flows there. So, uh, and lots of blockage happen in these chakras because of mainly your emotions. So different sort of emotion blocks different type of uh, chakra. So I hope uh, everyone already joined. Uh, so before going in a meditation, think about your greatest grief, or maybe in Hindi, what is the greatest duk you have in your life? And what is your greatest hate or bitterness toward anything, person, a thing, a place, think about that, okay? So you can think something like you have, what was your greatest loss and any person, place or thing you hate most. Think, take a uh, cup, one minute, think about that and then we'll start moving detail of this chakra. Because this is very important because if you need to know your emotion correctly. So anything which cause you grief a lot. Okay, I hope you all have found a grief or hate related thing in your mind, please keep in your mind. So let's start about the fourth chakra, heart chakra. It actually very powerful because it balanced the world of matter, which is defined by the lower three chakras and the world of spirit, which is upper three chakras. So it is a very important chakra because from here your journey start toward its spiritual world. And from here your journey also start from your material life so if it's going down your material life will be okay if it's uh, going up from here your spiritual life will be great so it's create unconditional love compassion and forgiveness for the whole world by this chakra in physical body it is mapped by the thymus gland very important gland uh, so if physically if you want to map a chakra there are seven glands so for this heart chakra is mapped with your thymus gland and Thymus gland produce thymosis hormone and it simulates the development of disease fighting T cell and which is very important because these T cells help destroy infection and infected and cancerous cell in the body. So you can assume that is how much important your thymus gland is. So, so it is actually play very vital load. So in your lymphic, uh, lymphic system, which is your body defense mechanism and network. So if your thymus gland is not good, means your chakra is sort of completely blocked, stop. You will be get ill very early. A lots of body problem will be happen there. Your cell system is will be uh, not good. So that is the mapping of physical body and chakra. So, and location of this chakra is here, nearly here, center of chest, knee, and near to your heart, okay? So something you need to understand if your chakra is balanced, not active, there's a difference between balance and active, but balance means you are in good shape. So you feel self-love, you feel compassion, you feel forgiveness, okay? You feel a calmness and acceptance toward the other things. And if it's in balance, you feel restlessness, impatience, irritability, hatred, and jealousy, lack of empathy, lots of things you have holding grudge toward anyone, difficulty to forgive to others. If someone is doing bad for you, still you can forgive them, but you have too much difficulty to forgive. It means your chakra is completely imbalanced. 
difficulty to trusting other people and low immunity because you don't have the good fighting capacity. So the chakra deal with the love, that's amazing, but is blocked by grief and hate. So you need to understand is blocked by grief and hate. So if you have lots of grief and you have a lots of grief, hate towards other, then it means your chakra will be blocked, okay? So we'll start doing meditation, okay? So you need to do fast breathing. Uh, before doing the fast breathing, few people found that it's tough to just visualize. So what you need to do the when you're closing the eyes, Visualize you are sitting here like me uh, in a good position, spine is straight and think about that your astral body, not your physical body means a, a particular thing is sitting here in a space and it doesn't have any uh, character means nose, eyes or something like that. You have seen the picture of that simple this shape of body. So this shape of body is sitting there, which is your astral body. Okay. And think about that and then it will be easy to enter in meditation towards chakra because your chakra doesn't exist on your physical body. Glands exist in physical body, but chakra exists on your astral body. And we have seven bodies. Uh, if you read the old Hindu scripture, you will find that we have a seven body, not the one body. So everybody has a level. Okay, so we will working on the second body, which is the astral body. Okay, so you can imagine that. So start doing meditation first start doing the deep breathing <laughs> take air in from your uh, nose and release from your mouth <laughs> you can start fast breathing from your nose, releasing from your mouth, like that. Okay, stop fast breathing. Come in a normal position. Let body take air in and air out. And start looking your astral body. Now start focusing on your tip bone located at the end of your spine. This is the location of your first chakra, root chakra, muladhara. And now start visualize a bright red swelling light on that location. The light is moving clockwise on that location. Very bright red light.
very bright light just rotating on your tip near your tip bone this light start moving upward toward your second chakra very slowly see the movement in your astral body a very slow movement upward Now this light reach to your second chakra, so this thana or second chakra just locate it below of your belly, and color of light change from red to orange. Now that. orange color light on that location is now moving clockwise and opening your block chakra that energy that exists in that light is opening your block chakra now this light start moving toward your third chakra solar plexus chakra and also called manipura in hindi just above your navel point see the movement in your astral body slow movement of Now this slow moving light reach to your third chakra just above your navel center and change color of light is yellow right now 
and it is so bright just like a sun there feel that brightness and warmth warmness on that point just like thousand suns are there see the moment also there of light that yellow color light is just filling your whole body with full of vitality and opening your chakra Now this bright, vibrant yellow light start moving towards your heart chakra, center of your chest, very slowly. A small, tiny ray of light, but very powerful, very energetic moving upward slowly, very slowly. Now this light reach to your heart chakra. Now think about your grief or hate, which I asked you before. Think about that. Bring out your major grief and hate in front of you. You have indeed felt a great loss by losing someone who loved. or a bitterness towards a person who did it wrong for you bring that in front of you don't get fear just bring it out in front of you start looking it vividly observe it this feeling you might be shivering or might be feeling pain but don't worry bring them feeling out there might be a great loss for you which is right now in that feeling now accept everything stop complaining about that loss and stop complaining about hate toward that person 
you have accepted both things and let your pain flow away in here and when you let it go you will feel the energy from your heart start opening now start sending love from your heart toward that person who you lost or the person who you hate most i love from your heart let it flow and if you can do it the blockage of that emotion is not there you are open and the pure love is flowing towards everyone now the light which was there start glowing in a bright green color on your heart center because you are full of love and compassion towards everything in life this green light ray of light is just moving feeling on your heart center and your heart is just open for everyone feel the love towards everyone your family your friend everyone in this world all the creatures all the lifeless things also because everything is energy right now now this ray of bright green light filled in your heart start moving upward towards your throat chakra slowly in your astral body see the moment of this ray of light green light towards your throat chakra just located center of your neck and light reach there now the color of light change from green to blue and the the bright blue color light is just moving on your fifth chakra throat chakra vishuddha see the moment and the light in your astral body
bright, very bright, just like a blue star. On your throat chakra, and it's moving clockwise on that area and opening your throat chakra. light start moving slowly in your astral body towards your sixth chakra third eye chakra see the movement of your ray of light slowly moving light See the moment of light. Now, slight reach on your sixth chakra, third eye chakra, located between your eyes, and color change from blue to indigo. See a bright indigo color light on your sixth chakra, Agnya chakra, just located between your both eyes, and light is moving there and opening your intuition opening your power to see in future. You might feel a sensation or a, or a warm on that location, that's fine. color ray of light start moving upward towards your last chakra seventh chakra crown chakra top of your head see the movement in your astral body Ray of light just moving upward towards your crown chakra. And reached on the top of your head. And the color of light is changed from indigo to violet. Very bright violet color.
see a ray of light there on top of your head. And same time you can see that your all channels are open means the light flowing from your first chakra to last chakra. A flow of energy you can see in the astral body. A violet ray of light on top of your head is just shining, moving there and opening your crown chakra. And your consciousness is just connecting the consciousness of whole world. Now, this violet light is changing in a white and just going in a space. You can see the light from your first chakra is just going upward, changing color and going in a space as a white color. So everything is released in space. You are just a channel, a medium, where energy is flowing and going outside and this light going in space is your room see that your room is filled with that white light a very bright shiny light everything is white you can see the white color aura glowing aura around your astral body feel the energy and the pureness and calmness they are right Now sit a couple of minutes, observe what is happening with your body. There might be some tension in your body, but you are still in a good shape because right now you are not in your body. You are just a observer. Now slowly, slowly take two, three deep breath. And start opening your eyes. I hope you all will live today with lots of love and compassion so if you have any question you can ask by unmuting or maybe use your chat window i'm here
नमस्कार सुर सर आई एम ऋतु फ्रॉम इंडिया हाँ जी मैं ये कह रही थी कि जैसे आप लाइट्स का कहते हैं आई कैन नॉट सी लाइट एक्सेप्ट दैट इंडिगो जो पिंक इंडिगो होता है वो चारों हर बार मुझे वही दिखाई देता है तो व्हाट इज दिग्निफिकेंस शुरू में सबको थोड़ी थोड़ी दिक्कत होती है बट ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि आपको नहीं दिखता तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आप थोड़ा सा ट्राई करो उसके लिए हो सकता है आप दिन में बैठो और उसके लिए विजुलाइज करना शुरू करो सिर्फ रेड लाइट को देखो आपको रेड लाइट दिख रही है थोड़ा सा विजुलाइजेशन जब आपका स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाता है तो आपको दिखना शुरू होती है कभी कभार हमारा विजुलाइजेशन बहुत ही वीक होता है तो हम विजुलाइज नहीं कर पाते और कुछ लोग का विजुलाइजेशन इतना विविड होता है दे कैन सी एवरी थिंग केयरली मीन्स द मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट देयर कलर देयर मूवमेंट देयर स्पेशल रोटेशन एंड व्यू सो It's so that purple color thing, purple color thing, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said uh, this uh, crown chakra, uh, you know, keeps rotating. Uh, and when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, you know, keeps rotating. And when you said this crown chakra, so okay. you yeah your journey route is is a different experience that route and other person are experiencing different but don't worry keep doing mm-hmm. that you will find mm-hmm. something a, a fruitful thing there okay. someone is thank you someone is asking how to stop mind wandering while meditation okay so yes so that is a very good question when you start doing you mind stop going uh, coming interfering the problem is that when i i told in my previous session when you joining the meditation don't join in expectation that last week something happened and this week i feel something going to great no you mind start playing game because when your mind start playing game your whole attention toward that thing okay are you achieving that or not are you achieving that or not so don't come with the meta uh, meditation with the acceptation any expectation there it means that you are going to think towards that way no that's why i'm telling that just be a doer complete doer childs are very good in this thing because when you say a child to do this thing they will totally focus on doing so there's a problem between doing and thinking so when i'm saying do it just do it and you will find very less thoughts are coming and i think hope many of you have seen that after meditation uh you find very few thoughts because you are just doing when you start doing your mind stop interfering uh any other question one more thing i want to share with you all you know that uh your heart is very powerful and scientifically recently uh lots of different university in the world you will find if you google it they did experiment with the heart and mind coherent uh, coherent system so they find that your heart is so much power that your heart can predict the events before they are happening even after few minutes few second and even few days so your heart know about that something is going to happen so so much powerful your heart and your mind is just predict something when it's happen and then start thinking but your heart knows about many events which is going to happen in future so so much powerful and if this is done this research is done by not a single university it's done by many different university and they were completely shocked how heart changing is waves by a future coming event also we now we talk about that lotus petal and chakra how they are related uh, they because uh, the last chakra is sahasrara means the thousand petals so means your yeah, all energies are open and gone in space so that's why they just a symbol a sort of a symbol so that you can relate it uh, somebody ask about the lotus petal so it's a symbol uh, in old hindu hindu scripture that lotus is the pure flower and thousand lotus are open thousand petals are open so that is the symbolism so you can relate that but it is not mandatory for everyone
So that's why I'm telling that I was telling about the heart. So it's the most powerful thing you got that even as a physical organ. So heart creates a very slow and very low hertz energy beats every time. And that beats is very significant. People are thinking when your heart is just uh, pumping, it's also produce a, a wavelength, which is very important for your body because that wavelength is very, if your heart is in good shape, then that wavelength is uh, creates so many effects in your body. So I don't want to go there because it's a session where I can't talk hours and hours about that. We don't have much time, but it is a very important part organ of your body.